Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about rock protection. Rock protection is what you use when you want to build an anchor in the rock, or protect yourself when you're climbing in rock. When you climb, you place rock protection as you go, if there aren't any bolts. And if there aren't any chains at the top, or any bolted anchors, then you can use rock protection to build your own anchors. There are two types of rock protection. There are active protection and passive protection. This is an example of active protection. they are actively moving parts, so when you place it, the lobes are pushing against the rock, and that's what's going to keep it in. Now, passive pro, something like, like a nut. So when you place a nut in the rock, the, there's nothing holding it in. So if you kind of like, if you tug on it a little bit, that'll hold it in, but there's nothing holding it in. It'll fall out if there's not a constriction or something else to keep it in. Another type of passive pro are ketons. Pitons are awesome. Pitons will go where no other protection will go. If you have the tiniest little hairline crack, you'll be able to get a piton in there when you couldn't get a nut or a cam in there. They're really, really handy. and They're really good to have. So when you're placing protection, the biggest thing you want to do is assess the quality of the rock. So here we have a little crack and you can see that both of these blocks are very solid. This looks massive and this just goes on forever. So this would be a really good place to place some protection. So when you place a camming unit, you wanna make sure that it's in an optimal camming position. It looks like about that. This would be under cammed, and this would be over cammed. When you place cams like all the way in like this, they're gonna get stuck and you're not gonna get them back out. So you place it, you just kinda of wanna Get in there like that and make sure you have maximum contact on the lobes and all the lobes are in a good position. So I'd say that's a good placement. Next we're going to place a nut. So on your nut rack you should have a bunch of different sizes of nuts. I think I have everywhere from a 9 to I think I have a 0 in here somewhere. No, 4. So when you place a nut, you want to find a constriction in the crack. So if you look right here, you'll kind of see that there's a bit of space behind the rock where you can slot a nut in, and then it constricts right here. So when you pull out, that'll stop it. So that yellow one isn't looking too good. You don't have much contact up there. It's not really going in, so we're gonna try something smaller. So moving down the size chart, see if this red one goes. That red one, that's looking really good. The entire bottom part of the nut is on the rock, and the top is stopping on some features in the rock. So that'd be another really good placement. Next, we're gonna place a piton. So when looking for piton placements, it's even more important to assess the quality of the rock. If you take something like this block, kind of see that there's a crack going under here and a crack going up here. So you can assume that this block is probably pretty loose. And somewhere like over here, you have just a nice solid block, another massive block. So we're gonna see if we can get a piton in this. Kinda wanna set it and start hammering it. You wanna hear that nice piton sound. Twin, 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 twin. And that's in there. That's not going anywhere. Cool. So, yeah. It's a good piton placement. That's about it for Rock Pro. Um, yeah, Rock Pro is a really, really good skill to have. It's something that everyone on Western Mountain Rescue should know. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you.